Welcome to this week's matchup of the week. It features two one and O teams. It's actually the only matchup that uh, features two one and O teams. It is Barroom Heroes newcomer Michael Dunheimer versus Team Dursfa Bradley Schumacher. Bradley's at home here. He is coming off the drumming of last year's champion Michael Dun or Micah Dunbar. You know, y'all have two similar goddamn names. Andy, Micah, Michael, you're fucking me up. I might have to start calling you guys different names, I'm not sure. I, 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 I'm I just getting confused. Anyhow, at this point in time, ESPN is saying this is going to be a fucking blowout. They're saying Dirsch ball by 33 points, 116 to 82. Now, remember how I said last week that ESPN likes to overdo the numbers in the first few weeks? It's still the case. No one got 130 or 120 or 136 last week. No one did. There's a lot lower. I was slated to have 136 after Ray Rice, and I got 85, for God's sakes. They like to do that because it makes it more exciting. You know, it's just like regular football. You guys all want to see, like, 30 to 80 scores because no one appreciates defense. And, of course, it's the way of fantasy football. No one wants defense because they want their teams to score. But it's the case. You guys aren't going to score 16 every single point, or every single game. Hence, my team last week, I got touchdowns out of no one but Ray Rice. So, decent numbers, not helped at all because there was no touchdowns. So, whatever. Anyhow, digress. Let's go into their matchup. Uh, Barroom Heroes, 1-0. Team Dershval, 1-0. Who's going to go to 2-0? I'll let you know. Either way, it's a really great start by someone who's 2-0. Um, quarterbacks, we have two of the premier uh, quarterbacks, the ones that were going number one and number two in the draft. Still way too high to me to pick a quarterback in the first round. There's just a lot of quarterbacks out there that are going to get you solid points compared to how many running backs will always get you consistent points. Um, but either way, Aaron Rodgers, Michael Vick. Vick scored 22 last week, 24 for Rodgers. Uh, the, the problem is Rodgers – did it all throwing and looked amazing. I mean, he honestly looked unbelievably unstoppable. And here's the worst news. Aaron Rodgers is going against Carolina. 24 points this week? No. Give me 32 points for Aaron Rodgers this week. The only way he scores under that is if it's such a blowout, they start running the ball. Okay? That is the only way. On the other side, Michael Vick, 22 last week, but he didn't look amazing. He didn't look like uh, what Michael Vick did last year. I'm not a big Michael Vick fan, but last year he looked amazing. He looked like a great quarterback. Not just a great runner, a great quarterback. Um, last week he just he didn't look like himself. A lot of key injuries on the Rams. He got rushed a lot, got hit a lot, which brings in the, the you know, the, the injuries for later on the season, uh, which is going to really hurt Byron Heroes because Sam Bradford is hurt right now too. But still, um, Philly, of course, going against Atlanta. Atlanta's got a way better defense than the Rams do, especially after injuries Rams accrued. I don't see Michael Vick in 22 again. Give me 18 for Michael Vick. Still a good week. Uh, just he's not going to have a blow up. Uh, running backs, Forte, Javid Best. And Pierre Thomas for Dershval, Felix Jones, Ryan Matthews, Marshall Lins. Both of them, not that great. Uh, Forte is going to be solid. I love Forte, this whole thing. He's going against New Orleans this week. Week, week against the run defense, especially if Cutler still keeps going well. That's going to open it up for Forte. And it doesn't matter even if the Bears drop behind because Forte catches the ball well out of the backfield. Look for 18 points from Matt Forte, another score. Uh, Javid Best, D 
Decent last week, 11. If you get 11 on Jim Invest the whole week, or the whole year, you're going to be very, very happy with it. They're going against Kansas City, who gave up 41 points to Buffalo. That's got to be really, really make you very happy. The only bad thing is, they throw a lot. And he's not completely uh, part of that, that passing game. I still see him having a little bit better week than last week at 14. Pierre T uh, Thomas got six points last week. I think he's going to get the same amount this week against the Chicago defense. About six, five to six points for Pierre Thomas. On barter room heroes, Felix Jones, Ryan Matthews, Marshall, uh, Mar Marshawn Lynch. They're they're at showing seven, nine, and nine for them. Felix Jones going against the 49ers defense, very staunch against the run. I say it's about right for Felix Jones, maybe a little bit less. I think he's going to get six, seven, six or seven points. They'll get 12 or 13 if he gets that end zone. But without it, he's not getting over 70 yards. Uh, Ryan Matthews, 11 points last week. But what was the key point to take out of this? Tolbert got three touchdowns. It's going to happen all year long. San Diego is going against New England. They're going to be behind. Ryan Matthews is no part of the, the passing game. Give me only seven points for Ryan Matthews. Marshawn Lynch. Uh, for Seattle going against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh guys, yeah, they looked horrible last week, but they come back so fierce usually when they have bad games like that. Look for Marshawn Lynch to put a beating on your score. Five, eight, nine points? No, 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 no. Go with four points for Marshawn Lynch. I know it sounds horrible. If you can get that one half yard run for a touchdown, you might get ten. Other than that, you're having a horrible day. Four points. Receivers, Mike Walsh, Johnny Knox. Johnny Knox is going to have a decent week against New Orleans. Uh, not as good as 11. Give me 9. Mike Walsh for Pittsburgh going against a Seattle defense. Look for him to do very, very well. Uh, Mike Walsh, give me 16 points for you. Uh, Dwayne Bow, uh, Jeremy Macklin on Dirchfall's side, both going to have solid games. Uh, Dwayne Bowe's not going to look as bad as he did in week one the whole year. So you, you got to relax on Dwayne Bowe a little bit. He only got one point last week. Look for him to bounce back a little bit. Give me 10, uh, 10 points with a score. Um, Jeremy Macklin with Philly. He wasn't looked to as much. In Atlanta, they have a lot better coverage, a lot better corner. So you're going to see him go off of Deshaun Jackson a little bit on this one. I have to throw to his two. Uh, give me about seven, six points for Macklin. Not a great day. Um, tight ends, Greg Olson got 7 points surprise, surprise to me um, look for him to get even less against Green Bay uh, give me 4 points for Greg Olson I agree with uh, ESPN on this one Dustin Keller, Dustin Keller's going against Jacksonville, like Dustin Keller um, and against Jacksonville he's going to get his points he's going to get his stuff a little bit, he got 12 last week don't think it's high, don't think it's low as what ESPN saying, give me right in the middle, give me 8 points for Dustin Keller uh, Bears defense looked great. Uh, returned a touchdown, got some turnovers. Can't count a touchdown every time, but you can't be hurt by 21 uh, 21 points. Uh, they're gonna get it this year or this week? No, they're going against New Orleans. Give me six points for the Bears. They're still gonna get a turnover or two. Give me six points. Uh, Steelers defense horrible last week. Um, but they're going to bounce back. I think Dirchfall is smart by taking out the Niners and put it in Steelers this week. Um, I don't know if it's a smart play, per se, uh, with the 49ers going against Dallas, who are turnover happy, and the, the look of their special teams from last week. I might be leaning towards Frisco on this one. I do love the Steelers. I know who would pick the 49ers defense. Oh, he just likes the 49ers. It's it's true. I do love the 49ers, but you got to look at the offenses they're going against. Seattle is going to play. Is going to be very, very simple. They're going to turn it over. It's it's really looking for that defensive touchdown. I just see a mistake by Tony Romo happening um, before Pete Carroll allows. Vincent Jackson to be open enough to make that mistake against Pittsburgh. I think they're both going to score well. Uh, give me the Steelers at 9, and if you put the 49ers in, I think they're going to get 7 to 13 based on if they get that touchdown uh, on defense. Um, either way, 
I think it's going to be a landslide victory by Dershfall, uh, mainly because Barroom Heroes has a lot of hard matchups, and Dershfall has a very, very favorable schedule this week. Give me Dershfall with a repeat performance, 110 points. Barroom Heroes, I see you getting in the 70s. Give you 75 points. Sorry, guys, that's how it goes. Um, Michael, prove me wrong again. Good luck.